Risa, what's going on? I... I'm not sure, but I can feel it. <gasps> Something's happened to Viridia Magna. Viridia Magna? She commands dominion over the nature of this world, like a god. Marisa and I quelled her anger, but... It can't be. Looks like you all made it unharmed. We finally meet again. Forgive us for the delay. It's been so scary without you guys. It seems you have need of our assistance. How predictable. Everyone's here. Thank goodness! So, we've managed to reunite even after crossing into different worlds. Reassuring, to say the least. Anyway, allow me to update you on our current situation. Most of our foes have been rendered useless. Now all that's left is Belfomet. That being said, the path before us remains uncertain. It's impossible to predict how that man will react. Only one thing is clear. We have no choice but to take him out. We're so close, you guys. We're so close to saving this world! <laughs> All right, Arisa. Now where is this Viridia Magna? She should be... This way! Hmm. I suspect, then, that we'll find him there, too. Huh? Why would he be there? Because that fiend plans to cast aside his humanity and become a god. These damnable wounds. I won't be able to hold out much longer. Is retreat the only option? But if I were to fall, the forest would soon follow. <laughs> Pull yourself together. This forest is strong. It won't wither away so simply, even should its foolish king perish. Though my life may be forfeit, I would gladly sacrifice myself for the people of Natera. Careful, brother. The riper the fruit, the easier it bursts. Although you might be unready for picking just yet. Better to be unripe than poisonous. I present to you the work of Belfamet Ardalite, the king who brought this ivy to life. He intended to usurp your kingdom from the start. Does he intend to claim Viridia Magna's power as his own? Is that even possible? Of course it is. His toys are capable of draining life, in case you hadn't noticed. Then the reason the warriors of the past rose once more... Reinforcements sent by the Ivy King after he finished consuming dear mother. Hmm. Ready yourself, brother. It appears we face destruction once again, but this time... This time, we have hope, a future to look toward. We rely now on the strength of our otherworldly saviors. Come, Valdain. Just as they have protected us, we must ensure their advance. You speak cursed words. <laughs> Treacherous musings that are, as of yet, all but guaranteed. Nevertheless, knowing a thing or two of curses myself, I can't help but agree with your sentiment. I shall trust your judgment, Forest King, even if it damns us all. For the hope of the woodland, 
for the future of our people. May the verdant soul of conflict spring forth! No, I will not be defeated. Impressive as always, dear sister. Even in the worst of conditions, you make the most logical of judgments. We won't be defeated. Mano, are you all right? Emotionally speaking, I would have to say no. In fact, I'm positively quibbling with quirkery. Physically speaking, though, I'm happy to inform you that I'm in tip-top shape. Not to say I hadn't calculated the prospect of breaking down, given the state of my frame. But enough dark thoughts for now. You do not need to say any more, sister. I understand. Mono, Tetra! I... I'm so glad you're here! Whoa! Who'd have thunk I'd see you two again? Ah, oh, our lovely little sister. And her lively little friend. A veritable reunion of the sisterhood. I would come give you a hug, but alas. I need to bid farewell to Creepy Crawly over here first. It won't rest till it's smashed us to bits. And I'm rather fond of being, well, not broken. Affirmative. For the sake of our friends, we cannot afford to fall now. You're right. Luna's fighting so hard for us. I'll do my very best, too. Even in the event of my destruction, Escortius probably wouldn't notice. Dim vampires will be dim, as they say. So if I am to face my end, I would prefer he see it. Although, Tetra and Ania, do keep in mind we're not doing this for ourselves. We have to believe that this is what our lost sistren would want. I know it is. It has to be. <clears throat> Essentially, what I mean to say is, the steel heart of rebellion beats on. We'll fight for tomorrow. Hyona Barge! So that our people may know freedom. Delta Cannon, fire! And so hope will never be lost again! Initiating Alpha Drive! <laughs> He's here. Show yourself, Belfamet Ardalite! We're putting an end to your ruse! Ruse? <laughs> what? Is this your feeble attempt at feigning intelligence? <laughs> you idiots are too dull, too dumb, and too done. You've already lost this world in its entirety. Look at your utterly moronic faces, all fired up. Did you think this was the final battle? <laughs> that you'd put an end to this? Oh! Spare me your drivel! There's no fight to be had! I've already absorbed your precious mommy! And her power is... all mine! Erica, I don't think he's lying. I know. Her power, it's inside of him. That means she's not completely gone yet! So there's a chance to save the goddess, and Natera along with her. Well, our path seems clear enough. After what you've done to this world, only retribution awaits. I hate people who do horrible things. You're the worst. You'd be better off dead. Before, you were but a meager mortal. But now, with your new form, you could prove entertaining. We have pursued you across dimensions. Do not make me regret hunting you. Arisa, it's time we finish this. You're right. We have to make this our final battle. Um, hello? 
Are, are you even listening? Oh, I mean, we knew you were all dumb, dull, and disgusting, but this is just embarrassing. My plans are already complete. There is no tomorrow for the likes of you. No future, no hope, and your very last chance for victory? <laughs> Terminated! Whoopsie! Honestly, this goes to show how oblivious this world is. The land, the sky, even your tiny widow lives. All useless, just disgusting and infuriating wastes of material. So, you're gonna die, and you're gonna deserve it! I'm making a new world, and you aren't invited! No! We can still stop you! This is our world! Mine! You're not invited! Your incompetence! It's nauseating! Good luck! Do you know my master? Control, initiate. So many colors of guidance. Come forth, verdant wind! Guidance breathes through you. This way. Shutting down. Call it heresy. If you must. That's right. Tremble. No sanctuary to the banish. Hit you no, no further. Way. This log. Yeah, dude. Near for you. Class. Oh, inevitable. This one's with everything I've got. This sucks, but somebody's gonna My do it. My trusty arrows never fail. Gravitational control, initiate. Pitiful emotions! Gravitational control at full power. You know your stuff. A slug. Wall. Yeah, dude. I'm here for you. Shutting down. <laughs> Mighty squall. See my wings! This sucks, but somebody's got to do it. Green, green, hammering machine! Thanks! Kiss your mom when you get home, Kiss yeah. your mom when you get home, yeah. Yeah. Giving me. Hey, I'm the grown-up here! No, no, no! You can't fathom our plan! <laughs> yes! Yes! Now this is what I'm talking about! I'm story so much better when you know just how they're going to end! <laughs> Welcome to the real world! You're gonna learn today that this is how it always ends. Each and every time. The incompetent and impotent should shut up and fall in line like the drones they are. Utter wastes of my time. Why? Why aren't our attacks working? I think I know. Take this, you foul tree! Nothing's working! There seems to be some sort of barrier protecting her. 
Did she form it from ether? It's the power of Iridium Magna. We'll need an entire forest worth of ether to bring down his barrier. Ether? Is that the power you've obtained? Then regular magic should do the trick too. We must at least try. Let us combine forces. Give it everything you've got! Ah! What am I? A joke to you? Attempting to defy me again and again? You should be groveling on your knees. You worms just don't learn! But I'll just have to drive the knowledge into your heads all the way through them! I'm sorry. I'm running out of ether! We failed. If only we made it to this world sooner. <sighs> His barrier is impenetrable. Yet another obstacle in our path. Come on! We can't give up yet! Mad Wall ain't coming down, toots! No matter what your feelings tell ya, you, your emotional saps disgust me. Wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot machine tentacle! Oh, you are quite arrogant for a man who has tasted defeat at our hands. <laughs> the hell are you going on about? I've never met an emotion I can't crush. Just like the Furies, just like the Fools back in Ayala. Do you really think your feelings can defeat raw power? You may have screwed me over once before. But I'm Belfermet Ardalite, damn it! No one screws with me! <laughs> so this is the limit of your capacity. I suppose I understand your way of thinking. However, you are mistaken. You did not lose to power. You lost because you have no emotion, no ambition, no thirst for victory. Learn, Belfamet our delight, that the heart is an enigma. Not even I understand its limits. Reject it, and you reject endless potential. I have seen your limits, and they are wanting. Oh, very good, Teej. I get it now. Except I graduated a long time ago, and I don't need your damn lecture. If you're done spewing out worthless lessons, now I'll have you spewing out blood. I'll crush every last one of your sorry hearts. I'll paint the floor with your worthless emotions. So bring it. Termination awaits you. Netflix capacitors fully charged. The goddesses descended thus. The Furies are weak. We shall extend no mercy. We are the indignant, the dissonant, the malignant. The Furies are we. We are the Furies. <laughs>